welcome back to the established 1875 YouTube channel. Today we're joined by Ollie. How are we doing, Ollie, mate? Yeah, good, mate. How are you doing yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You look like you nearly just blinded yourself with the lights there, mate. A bit try, try to, honestly, the try to sort these these little ring lights, you know what I mean? Flipping hell, starting to invest now, you know what I mean? So here we are. So as you, can see, as, as you can see, Ollie's in his pyjamas. It's that time of night. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, the Rovers stuff, always wearing all the time, blue and right through and through. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. So, Ollie, Ollie Wharton, apparently, with uh, him being blue and white through and through there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a, well, I, I don't know if, I don't know if I'd call it terrible news, but we've got some news. Um, it's hey, or Eden, or as they released on Charlton's Twitter, hey, yo, hey, yo. No, sorry, mate. It's Tayo Eden. Has joined Charlton Athletic. Um, Ollie, mate, I just want to get a bit of your thoughts on it, really. What's going on? Oh, I mean, just the news that, that's broken. Uh, look, no, let anybody that puts on a blue and white shirt, um, you know, and uh, look, unfortunately, with Taylor, when he first came, I think, was it from Lincoln we signed him from? Yeah, it um, was. It was. Kind of without high expectations. Um, and I, I think. I'll I'll say what I'll say it now. I think he was a bit of a scapegoat sometimes. I remember games last year where I was sitting next to, to fans, and I think one of them he, he he played left back a couple of times, and I think it was against Coventry. I think he was quite good. I, I can't remember what it was, but there was a good couple of games he did play, and I think he's one of those players because he wasn't a fan's favorite that every mistake got scrutinized all the time. Um, his level, to be fair, you could probably argue that. We could sit here now and we could go, do you know what? His level is League One. But does anyone remember Amari Bell? Okay, what happened to Amari Bell? And I'm, I'm, I'm just saying he's now gone on to play in the Premier League. So, look, I, I'm, it's, I wish you nothing but the best. But obviously, in terms of us trying to get bodies through the door, um, it frees up wages for another player potentially. Um, and, you know, maybe we've got something in our youth set up there. Uh, to step in for, you know, Britain if if he is, if he if he is going to be injured, uh, or Harry Pickering as well because I think you know Britain can play on both sides. But look, it goes with our best wishes. Yeah, and I, I think obviously it does fill a little bit of a hole with you know replacement left backs there. I think Britain, from what we've seen from him, he probably is more likely going to be pushed to the right side and. Maybe Costello in the middle, but I can't see him changing that. I think Costello with Britain's going to stick to the right, and I think that um we're going to need a replacement, a replacement left back, hundred percent. And I think we're already looking at that, but we'll get inside to a different video. But for me, with I think with Teo, I think that it was some of the decisions he made for me. Um, I remember I can't remember. Well, I can't remember who it was against, but I remember he got sent off. I'm pretty sure. Um, in a game where he just didn't need to. And I thought to myself, why has he done that? It was silly mistakes. Sometimes he looked like Bambi on ice to me. It looks like he got put onto an ice rink and got given no skates and he went, right, go on, do a job around the field. And that's not me saying that he's, gonna, he's, a, he's a dreadful player. I feel like sometimes he just wasn't up to tempo. With our, our way of giving him a chance would bring him on halfway during the game and expected him to get straight like that up to tempo and get straight into it. I think there's um, a player in him that obviously was. We wouldn't have signed him if there wasn't. Um, but Lincoln, the Lincoln fans rated him highly and he just hasn't hit the heights that he was expected from. But like you said there as well, he was a massive scapegoat, weren't he? I think whenever we lost with him on the pitch, I think um, I think everyone was always like, well, we are playing Taylor Eden. So, you know, it was expected. But one thing I won't forget is that pass to Jack Vale. The, the, West, Ham, the West Ham win, he got that assist to Jack Vale. A nice pass through the middle. And that was where you thought, you know what, this guy can actually play football. Like he can actually do a few things. It was a beautifully weighted pass, but unfortunately, I think for him, he's going to be remembered more for the wrong reasons than the right. But as someone who does bleed blue and white, I do wish him all the best, and I think everyone does. I think now he's actually gone, and it's he, he was quite a hefty wage budget for the player he was. By the way, he wasn't he wasn't cheap. Um, I think for the player he was and seeing him finally go, I think everyone's happy. So it's a good deal for both ends. We clear a wage budget up and he's going to get regular football elsewhere. So, you know, all I want to say is good luck to you, mate, you know, if you're watching. But keep doing what you're doing best. And 
get some first team regular well regular first team football down in league one and hopefully we'll be seeing Charlton in the championship soon I think they're a team that deserve to be there but yeah I think that's it really for it you know tail's gone and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more out the door if we're wanting to bring this number nine in or we could be starting with Galley as number nine next season which scares me a little bit but we'll get into that another episode again but Ollie, if, thank if, you if, there's, if, if there's a Saudi Arabian club out there that wants Sam Gallagher, listen, he's valued around about forty-five million pounds at the moment. Well, okay, I, I saw, I saw that um, Al Hilal came out the other day and offered, I think, three hundred million for Mbappe. If they want a ch- cheaper alternative, I mean, Gallagher's only around one hundred sixty-five. I mean, that's half price just basically. A, just a drop in the ocean, isn't it? You know what I mean? Peanuts, back pocket change. All right, <laughs> you know, come so on. Sa- Sam Gallagher screams Stephen Gerrard signing at the minute with the players he signing. Who knows? But Ollie, thank you for joining us, mate. Yeah, cheers, Matt. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, you know, if you're new, if you're new here and you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. But make sure to tune in for all the latest transfer updates. And thank you once again, guys. <laughs>